Welcome back kings and queens and welcome if you're new here. My name is Hope King and I'm the designer behind King's Designs MD. I'm excited today about this design that I have done. This is my Black Christmas movie watching mug. I also did one for shirt and blanket. And so I'm really excited about this because I often see people create uh, designs for a certain franchise that doesn't necessarily make movies that represent people that look like me. Um, so I wanted to make something that is representative of what I do for the holidays and what my family does. Now that doesn't mean I don't watch movies of other cultures or communities. Um, I do. Um, but I definitely love watching black Christmas movies um, and sharing them with my friends and family. And there's definitely a few Black Christmas movies that I watch every year um, that I really enjoy. So I just wanted to show you what I did to create this. So originally I went over to my text <clears throat> and I used Cue the Confetti kind of as my template. So if you go to Cue the Confetti, it's made up of two fonts. One of the fonts is um, Goth League Gothic. And the other is Salima. And so I just rotate it. So the top is Lee Gothic in 80. And if you don't want to use this, you can just click add a heading. Go over here and choose your font, which again will be Lee Gothic. And the font size would be 80. Mm, not 800, 80. And then you can type in... This is mine. Now, what I realized on this one, first of all, Elite, Elite Gothic, what put me here? Homeworld keys, people, homeworld keys, my fingers were not on them. Um, so, Elite Gothic here is spaced out. And so if you go up here to your spacing, it should be at a 75, about a 75, I believe, or 175 rather. And mine is set to 176, so you know it's about close to that. And then you can do another text box. And that second font is the Salima that I told you about. And my font is actually set to a 120. So you can just start typing. And I'm going to add a separate page just so you can see how clean this is when it's separated. So that's this is my, and this is the Salima. And we'll type black. Christmas movie. You know, all of mine were on separate lines. And again, the font was at a 120. And I did adjust my... I did adjust... Oh, come on. <laughs> one, two, zero. I did adjust my... Um, Line spacing, I just pick me. To get it how I wanted it. Now, you notice some of it started to overlap. So you can go back in and go line by line and space it how you want if it gets too close in one particular line. And you can move things up because that's a block, so that will all move together if you wanted it closer. And then for the bottom, it's really duplicating the same thing at the top. You can literally, literally click it, hit duplicate, move it down to the line that you want, and type over it. <clears throat> now for me, Let's see what font did I use. 80. So 
So I think I took some of the spacing, some of my letter spacing, there we go, out of this one. And so now that's at 101 letter spacing. And so there you go. This is my Black Christmas Movie Watching Mug. Again, you can move things up, down, around, however you want. Um, you can, if you do sublimation, you can just send it straight to your printer. Um, if you want to send it over to Cricut and use vinyl like I plan to do, you can save it as a PNG file and upload it into Cricut, clean up your background. If you want to do it as a water slide, you can also do that and just print it on your water slide paper. So, of course, water slide is only going to be for your glass um, ceramic type of items. It will not be useful on any type of clothing. So, there you go. This is my black Christmas movie watching mug blanket t-shirt. And I may make all three. So, if I do, I will show you guys pictures. And, um, yeah, so you'll see some photos somewhere. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If there's anything you guys want to see, please let me know um, so that I can make videos of that.